Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, Dynamic Link and what it is. So very simply, Dynamic Link is a third program that communicates between After Effects and Premiere Pro. It allows you to make instant updates inside After Effects and have them show in Premiere Pro. Let's go take a look. Here I've got some footage. I shot this with my Galaxy S5 camera, super slow-mo in uh, New York City, and I want to add something in here, uh, some kind of an effect. Let's say that uh, I need to add rain, and that rain is in After Effects. So we're in Premiere Pro. This is a video clip. How do we get this to Adobe After Effects? Simply right-click and choose Replace with After Effects Composition. And on Windows, it's going to flash down here in the bottom. On the Mac, it's going to bring uh, After Effects to the front. Now, we're in After Effects. This is the clip. It created a new comp for us. So all we have to do is search for rain over here in the effects and drag it on here. And now when I hit play, we've got rain on these poor pedestrians in New York. If we jump back over to Premiere Pro, you'll instantly see the rain is there. So I did not have to save, render, or change anything. And you'll notice down at the bottom, it's changed to a bright fuchsia colored uh, dynamic link comp. So this is an actual After Effects comp. You can see on the left hand side, there it is. It's replaced that for us. Now the only drawback when you're doing something like this is performance and speed. If you're used to editing video in something like Adobe Premiere Pro quickly, because it's a video clip, as soon as you put in a dy dynamic link After Effects comp, you're probably going to get things slowing down. And if you have many of them, then you could really slow it down. There's a great way to, f to kind of, I wouldn't say fix it, but get around this, and that's to render this as a video. Now, let's show you how we can render it and then unrender it for any changes. Right click and choose render and replace. And you have choices of whether you want to use the same as the sequence, the same as the clip, or a specific preset that you have. I'm going to base it on the individual clip itself, and then I can use some of these formats. Now, uh, Cineform is a very powerful format, including 10 bit, 12 bit, and 12 bit with an alpha channel. What's an alpha channel? transparency. Sometimes in After Effects you create things with transparency. If you don't have an alpha channel in a rendered video, then you will have a black background. So I don't have any transparency, so I'm just going to leave it as is. It's going to be next to the original media. Click OK. It will transcode that out and it will actually replace it over in the left hand side. Now you can see it's the typical video clip color and when I hit play, remember this is a slow motion clip, it performs perfectly. So I don't have the overhead of an After Effects composition. But then the question remains, but what if you have a change? No problem. Go back, right click and restore unrendered and you'll see that this is now an After Effects comp. So when I go back over here and let's change the size of the drops. Now they're absolutely ginormous drops. And let's, uh, let's make this fewer drops. So they're big, but they're not falling as much. Now when I come back over here, the drops have changed. And if I needed to, I could render and replace that again. So that's how to get our video clips through Dynamic Link back and forth out into After Effects really, really powerful, especially if this is something that will constantly be changed. If this is something that's done, maybe this is a show opening that n nothing's changing, then you're not really benefiting by having dynamic link. Render this and leave it as a clip. Now, what about a title animation? Well, let's go to this middle section here and let's say we want to create a title animation. In the file menu in Premiere Pro, you can actually create a new After Effects comp directly from here. And it's going to make it based on the, the footage that I have inside. There it is. I'm going to call this my title. And I'll drag this over top. And I'll hold the Alt or Option on Mac and just delete that. I don't need the, the audio uh, clips. Now, you don't see anything because we don't have anything in here. But if we edit this, so you'll see over here, After Effects is asking me to... to uh, uh, come back here and now it's created a new comp. 
This is our dynamic link comp. So I'm going to grab some text and I'll click in here and I'll just type fun. Let's make sure that we've got this. In New York City. Let me just format that type. All right, so here we've got some type. If we go back over, guess what? There it is right there. Let's make it look a little bit more interesting. Instead of white, let's make it a little bit brighter of a yellow. And over in our effects and presets, instead of rain, we'll go to our animation presets and our text presets. And let's animate this in. Slow fade on. There we go. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro. And you can see there's the slow fade on. Somebody says, well, I like the animation. Don't like the typeface. Don't like the color. Oops, no problem. Let's go back over here. Right now we're at Helvetica New Medium. Let's change this to something different. Let's do it bold italic and make it much larger. And let's check our fade in. Fade in works. Back over here, font changes. Fades in. Our rain over here. Everything is live and editable and we could render that out if we wanted to for performance. So that's a look at what Dynamic Link is. It's incredible when it comes to making those last minute changes between the two apps. Now next week when you go back to this, this particular project in Premiere Pro, you don't have to go over and launch After Effects. When you open this project in Premiere Pro, Dynamic Link will start in the background. It's a seamless little thing that just loads in the background. It does require computing power, but there's no need for you to run both of these, both After Effects and Premiere Pro, unless you're making changes again in After Effects. Whew. Well, hopefully you found that informative. If you have, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe link to video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.